What is going on guys? My name is Soul Kitty from Color Crafting and today I thought I would do my first tutorial ever on anything actually. So yeah, it's I'm gonna do a pretty pretty big basic beginners tutorial in the awesome program World Painter. So first of all what you will need to do is download World Painter. I will leave a link in the description for that. Uh, and then when you get here and open the program what you want to do is click on file to make a new world that is and cl uh, yeah hit new world basically I'm just gonna check if I am recording sound yes I am okay good yeah so first of all you need to name your world and I'm gonna name my world YouTube yeah and then you're gonna choose your dimensions I like to have a grand or big space to work on so I'm gonna hit five I'm gonna choose 5,000 blocks you could make this a square a square world then if you hit 5,000 both it will be like 5,000 times 5,000 yeah, which but which which will be twenty five thousand blocks, basically. But I like to build circular worlds, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, that will be circular. So if you want, yeah. Next step, topography. Topography. I don't know what it's. Yeah, penis. Okay. Uh, so, I thought that we should make an island. That's what I thought. So, first of all, what you need to do is lower the level of the yeah the ground or the dirt or stone or whatever. So I'm gonna lower that to twenty, and then everything will be water, basically. Everything will be water, and I'm gonna lower the water level as well to forty, because then I can build taller mountains as well cool cool now everything is water as you can see no wait I messed up 45 45 and yeah and oh yeah uh, you can may rise the the height of the map like the the sky limit because the default sky limit is on 256 blocks but you can make it as, as high as 2048 blocks but it says yeah you need mods for that basically so I like it to stay in like the default shit yeah so now we got our world everything is in order no wait, I messed up somehow. It's supposed to be twenty and forty-five. Not for oh my goodness, forty-five. Yes, yes, yes. Create. Then you should hit the create button. Okay. So when you download the the program and open it everything should look like this. Do not yeah, just don't yeah, just forget about these custom brushes because you need to download them and install them to the program itself. Uh so these are downloaded from the internet interwebs. And these brushes you see right here are the brushes that come with the program which is pretty awesome as well um, yeah uh, then you have circular you have intense circle and yeah several four f a bit faded circles and the same with squares this is a more cracked up yeah cracks and this is a mountain this is the one I use or typically use for mountains. The other circles are for hills, more or less. And same with these. Uh, yeah. 
over here you have the tools. Uh, since this is a beginner tutorial, I will not go as in depth as I will in the advanced tutorial, which will come up soon. And this tutorial will also be in several parts, ten minutes long, I guess each. Okay, tools. You have the pyramid in each. Yeah, you have like like 25. No, wait, 45 degrees rotated pyramids, and you have yeah a square pyramid, and then you have the water drop which will if you are gonna create a lake without a river you wanna use this one to yeah to raise the water level and you have the lava for yeah lava pits and volcanoes and such then you have the raise or lower tool it's called the height tool and this is the flatten tool it's to flatten areas and this is the smooth tool to smooth the terrain this is to raise mountains. I I don't really use this tool. I use mostly the high tool, and this spawn this spawn tool to change the spawn sponge tool to dry up lakes and yeah whatnot, and yeah, globe global operation. I will not go into depth with that one as well or either. That's the right term to use there. Uh, I also like to to like see my world in 3D. If you watch my time lapses, you will know what I mean by that. So, if you want to see what you build in this program in 3D, you head over to View, and then you hit the uh, Show 3D View or Control 3, 3. Sorry, yeah, and then this window will pop up. Center press the center button to yeah kind of like get into the center of the world if you wish that uh yeah it's not really much here yet because i have not built anything yet and here you have the biomes and different stuff i will not go into depth with these either i will come back to them but yeah and then you have the terrain which will paint the terrain and stuff and the custom terrains these you trains you create yourself okay so let's get over to the island that I'm supposed to build this is our world our workspace and it's pretty large 5,000 this way and 5,000 this way which will be or which adds up to 10,000 10, blocks in diameter okay anyways let's zoom in to the center the little red dot you see here is spawn this is the spawn point that you'll spawn in in the world let's get over to the high tool and choose the most or yeah the, the yeah yeah that one <laughs> that one okay and yeah just click randomly and you will start to see ground The water here will be really shallow because I, yeah, it's only 25 blocks apart from the lowest depth or to the deepest part of the ocean to the, yeah, to the one block above. Or, yeah, I'm sure you get what I mean by that. Okay, let's uh, head over to the 3D view. Okay, so this is the island so far. It's not much, but it's an island. You can also do something really cool with this window. You can hit the lock button, which will lock the window. So now you can press the the world painter screen and build while this is showing. Otherwise it will be yeah, it will just pop away. I use I usually like to make a split screen like this but I'm not gonna do for this tutorial uh, and I'm not gonna lock this yeah the treaty view as well either okay 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 let's build an island here just be all spontaneous when you build it I promise it will be turn out 
will turn out quite well actually after my experiences this will be just an ordinary island with mountains because I love huge massive mountains on my islands I like them big oh yeah big boobs in here what yeah yeah what yeah huh well, yeah I feel so random today yes I will have a little coastline in here the coastline will go in here I think that's pretty cool I will lower yeah I forgot to tell you uh, it's left click to raise and right click to lower I th I'm pretty sure you've figured that out by yourself already oh well oh well yeah I'm just gonna lower this part right here okay so now we have a pretty epic island so far so this will be like a northern island of some sort oh it's got a, got a little too big there we go okay how does our island look like right now oh look like this okay cool that's cool so I'm sure you notice that's that it's not much on the island as it is right now there's no biomes. The default biome for World Painter is the f the plane, the planes biome. Oh, I got a little lag here. Little lag. Come on, you can do it. Okay, just give me a second.